Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. I finally accrued just enough coins to be able to play uh, Jumpstart. I didn't realize it was 2000, so sorry about that. I'm a bit late to the game, uh, but here we are. I'm going to jump in and we'll see what I get. So choose packs. Let's see. Wizards plus one and Archaeology for my first. Uh, so for those that don't know how this is going to go, basically I put two packs together and that's my deck. Ta-da! Um, so... Any meeny miny mo. I have no idea what all is inside of these. So this is actually my my inclination. This is what I'm. Yeah, we'll do plus one first, and then. Ooh. Well, oops. Hmm. I don't know that I chose terribly well. Enchanted sounds interesting. Plus one and enchanted. So I take creatures, make them bigger, and then make them bigger. That's the that's the game plan. That's what we're going for here. All right. Uh, so let's see what the deck actually consists of. We have Wildwood Scourge. So comes in with X plus one plus one counters on it, and then whenever one or more would be put on it, put an addition, put on a non hydra creature you control, put an additional one on. Cool. Arbor Armament. Cool. Oh, and it gains reach. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Uh, sure. Alright. That's more like what I'm looking for. Hey! Spirit Dancer. There we go. Alright, hold me closer, Tiny Dancer. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. That's, that's my favorite mishearing in all of music. Alright. Nessie and Hornbeetle. Sure. Uh... Sure. Okay. This art is, is wild. I dig it. I dig it. Alright, Fertilid. Okay, just give me my fourth Fertilid, I guess. Invigorating Surge. I see Invigorate and it, oh, it makes me think, but no, no, it's not. It's not that Invigorate. I wish. God, I wish. Truffle Snout. Alright. And then, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is not as impactful as I was hoping it might be, but that's okay. Armorcraft Judge looks alright. Draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Um, I guess I was hoping that maybe some of these would give plus one plus one counters, but even if they don't, they make the creatures bigger, generally. Then you have cards like Passivism and Fates Fetters that don't, but that's okay. That can still kind of work with what we're trying to do. Alright, and then Hunter's Edge for a plus one plus one counter, and then one-sided fight. Knightly Valor, yay for more creatures. Uh, and then Knight of the Tusk and Primeval Bounty, which is, I used to brew with this card way back in the day when it first came out. Alright, so here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. All we have to do is win two, but I'll see if I can go for a bit more than that. I have an itch, good grief, my nose. Good grief. Saibaba1926. Alright, so this person's almost as old as I am. <laughs> I'm old, folks. No, no. Okay. Whale. I don't know how prevalent removal is going to be in the format, so I guess I'm inclined to start off with a planes, and then we have Spirit Dancer, but we don't have anything on which to use it yet. And that's a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. So we'll start off with a planes. Let my opponent know I don't have anything. Let's see. Hi, Pegasus. Alright, let this draw step determine what I do. Nope. Okay, well then. Um... They're all... Good grief. I guess we play the Horn Beetle first. Because theoretically we could get it in... Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem great to be honest. Oh, hi! It looks like we're getting well behind, unfortunately. If I block here, Arsonist just kills it. So, I don't know that that's a trade I would be willing to make. But I can't wait for too long. For right now, I'll say no blocks. Invigorating Surge. Let me do again. Then double the number of plus one plus one counters on it. And then put a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. Cool. 
I mean, I guess that that's something. Alright. If you control another creature. Dadgummit. Okay, well, um... Now we can block Arsonist, but that's really it. We're about to take a heaping helping of damage here. Please, enchantments. Please, enchantments, show up. I could use pacifism off the top. That would be nice. As After I was just dissing the card. I guess I slow the clock down by one by doing that. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, then. I'm sorry. This is each get plus two plus two. Well, I'll block the obvious one. It's interesting that they used it there. So then one at me, so I'm at eight. Alright, come on. Nope. What is this? Plus one, plus one counter on another tar on target creature you control. Each creature you control, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Well, we didn't really find the enchantment side of the deck. Um... It doesn't really matter, does it, here? I guess we could stack as many of them as possible on the Horn Beetle. So, this thing has Menace, so we'll block both here. They can kill Pride Malkin, and then I'll still have a 5-5. Five five. I'm sorry, what does this do? Target creature gains flying. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah... Yeah, I think they got us. I don't even control. I'm just going to give them the good game. Yeah, they got me. They got me. Now, the good news is you don't have to win the games consecutively. You just keep playing until you get your rewards. Uh, that happens. You know, it is what it is. I kept a hand with enchantment buffs, and then, or something that cares about enchantments, and then didn't find enchantments. Oh well. Oh well. Oh whale. Huge, huge woody 69. Why did I say that out loud? Okay, so trusty retriever is the only one I can cast here. I go first. Oh man, I can't cast anything. Uh, you know what? YOLO. We are YOLOing this. It totally worked out the last time. Give him the hello. I did not get my coffee. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Huge. Oh dear. Well, this is working out so far. I mean, I guess we can get a trusty retriever on curve. A 2-3. And then... Either a 3-4 or... yeah. Oh, this is... this is going swimmingly, folks. Maybe they're a little bit slow, too. Maybe. Probably not. Ah, <sighs> this is what I get. This is what I get. It's okay. This is a zero-stakes format. I'm just having fun, to be honest. Forced Worship. Which one are you again? Can't attack, return it to hand. Uh, let's play this first, actually. Please. Especially since they can just sack it to get rid of it, unfortunately. Alright, cool. Lightning Strike. Or whatever. Hungry Flames. Huh. Okay. This is going great. Oh, this is going great. Rage Mutt. Okay, now that's, that's something... That doesn't do much. At all. I am ever so slightly slowing down the clock by literally just one point. But because we can return it to hand, I guess it's okay. It could be worse. We have a bit of time. Just a forest. Please, dear God, just a forest. Thriving Bluff. Okay. Come at me, bro. Alright. Then what you have next? What do you have next? Alright, cool. Passing along to me? Maybe. 
Oh, wait, thank you. Hey. What does this thing do again? It just, you pick a, pick a color. Choose a color other than white. Add white or the chosen color. Uh, sure. Fun. Oh, you come in tapped. Ah! It's... Well, at least we're having fun. At least someone here is having fun. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, let's, uh, pass to attackers. Let them hit me first. I'm just going to return this to hand now. This is a decent mana sink, though. That's not good. That's no bueno. Alright, so Forced Worship, and I can also now play... Hey, there we go. So I have seven mana. This is two, and then five. So I can play... Draw a card for each... No. Uh, I can play a Wildwood Scourge. Just make it enormous. So then, one, two, three, four. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. So we finally got there. I still don't feel great about this, but maybe. Thriving Grove. Okay. Alright, well. Whale. What do you have? See, they definitely have one damage from Magmut, two damage from Elemental. So we're still not in okay shape. Ooh, uh oh. What next? Mmm, what you got? They have something else. Do they misplay? Misclick? Pillar of Flame is a is a solid card in my opinion. Two damage to any target, and it exiles it, but it's at sorcery speed, whereas there's a an instant speed version that can't hit but creatures. Ah, there we go. Okay. They got there. Well, that's not good. Es no bueno. Oh, whenever you cast a creature spell, and we don't have quite enough mana for all of this. So, we go one, two, three, four, five, let's see. Yeah. Four, five. So anything that gains me life. And a land... Oh. You, I you idiot. There is a land mode. I'm just going to concede out of... Okay. I know... I know that. I knew that. Played my land first. I'm having a good day. Let's try that again. Alright, alright. Serious time. This is what I get for not bringing my coffee with me. It's made! It's ready for me! I just... hit the record button. Because... I mean, it's made now. Alright. Cool. Let's try this. It's driving Grove. Yay. Alright, and then Dub. Not, not, not this thing. Not this thing. It's a little bit off. Alright. Insert loud, distorted bass here. Alright, so we'll go uh, Thriving Grove, Beetle. We'll see what they play. Oop, hello? Get. Touch screen. There we go. Ah. Oh, hi, dog. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, there you are. That's green. Why? <laughs> All right, and then Fates Fetters. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can find another land here. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. 
Interesting. So, can't attack or block and its activated abilities can be activated. Given what I've seen so far... Hmm... I'll take the Faith Fetters out. Faith's Fetters. Faith Fetters. So, what is this, like, dogs and zombies, I guess? Okay, so in that case... I kind of would like to dub it, and just go on offense. It would give me more time to put more counters on Scourge. Alright. There we go. Alright. Don't block, whatever you do. Or block with Mummy and then Selfless Save Your Sack. Say that five times quickly. Selfless save your sack, selfless save your sack, selfless save your sack, selfless save your sack, selfless save your sack. That sounds wrong. A little bit. A little bit. This smug look. Spoiler alert, he's dead, so we don't have to look at this. Well, yeah, we do, on Arena. But on cards, we don't have to look at it any longer. Maybe. Probably. Uh, Gruul is one of my least favorite guilds. I don't know that I hate that many of them, and I don't think I hate Gruul, but it's right up against the line. Any... any... guild that prides itself basically on how dumb it is... is gonna be bottom tier in my book. Rakdos is my absolute least favorite, even though I kind of like the idea, I suppose. Let's just say I was never a big fan of the Joker. So Doom Necromancer. Alright, cool. Cool. I don't like Chaos for Chaos sake, Anarchy for anar Anarchy sake, but they are very different from a lot of what else is going on, just in magic in general, so I can appreciate that if nothing else. So I can go Wild with Scourge 3, but I would like to be able, yeah, I'd like to do that so that I can play Fertilid and have an extra counter on it. Turns out it is indeed not a Hydra. Alright, let's attack first. Let's be smart about this. No blocks, presumably. We won't quite be able to get it up to uh, big enough for Horn Beetle's trigger. But without Trample, it isn't that big of a deal anyway. Alright, what are they going to do? Alright, so there goes... 4. Hit him to 12. 20, 12. Remember how disastrous that year was supposed to... Oh yeah, we're still... That was first strike damage. There we go. Be super careful doing that with a touchscreen you don't accidentally hit a little bit too far over to the left. Alright. Yeah, it makes my stuff bigger. It's big and it makes my stuff bigger. As you do, I guess. Let's see. Good grief. Good grief. Alright. There we go. Admittedly, I don't see a lot of cards that I would be especially happy about having to play in Historic. Uh, Core Spirit Dancer seems kind of cool. You get to play Bogles, sort of, with no one-drop creatures. There still aren't any one-drop hexproof creatures in the format, and that's probably for the better, to be honest. Alright, so just in case something happens, like in combat, I'm going to, or if this thing gets killed. If it gets killed early, I'll be a little sad. So I probably should have attacked first, actually. Alright, there we go. So we get an extra counter on Fertilid. So they don't have a kill spell in hand. That's good. Whew! Oh, sorry, it goes on you, Skirt. I said that incorrectly. If it went on Fertilid, that would be awesome, because then you could use you could get three lands out of your deck. That would be neat. Alright, so now we have a big enough creature. 
Alright, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting there. Maybe. Slowly but surely. Alright, cool. I will just attack with both. Hold up full control. No reason not to. Let them think I might have something. Maybe. Just maybe. Alright, what are you going to do? So, Self the Savior will sack itself to save the mummy. Give it indestructible. Yeah. That's it. Or not. Or yet. Yeah, surely. Surely they are. Yep, there we go. Got there. They got there. So that makes it a lot less off, less bad than it could have been. Alright. So we'll pass. Right, that's probably a little too much. Just hold it here. It is probably a good habit to get into, to just hold full control all the time. Okay, there's, I'm just bored. I'm just waiting. Okay. There is, similarly, a side of me that wants to play the Invigorating Surge. So I, I don't pull the land out. It doesn't matter, but I don't pull the land out. Play Invigorating Surge on my turn. There we go. Selfless Savior, makes sense. Here we go. Indestructible. Interesting. Oh wait. Oh wait. Alright. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this seems a little excessive. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Well, since none of you have Trample... Oh, okay, here we go. I see. I'm going to put it on you. Yep. Let that resolve. Let that resolve. There we go. Pay into it a bunch. I can go just spam all of the lands out of my deck after this. This seems silly, just a lot. Alright. And so then we get another on Scourge. Okay, what you got? What do you have? Oh, I have six and nine. There we go. I have a six, six, and a nine, nine. 69, uh, for infinity. We'll count the 8 as that. Real mature. I'm really mature. I promise. <laughs> okay, but still nothing, nothing is trampled. Not yet. Okay. Well, starting on the next turn, they can make companion indestructible, but... They can't really, oh, yeah, I was about to say, they can't really afford not to block here. They could do it for one turn, but that doesn't really get the job done. Alright, save your sack into Companion. So the Companion can serve as a block, an indestructible blocker next turn. Or, you know, conveniently, one of the joys of this thing is that if you cast a Wrath, it gains indestructible before the Wrath actually goes off. I mean, it's still a 3-1. It's not great or anything. It's a 3-1 for 3. But I guess it does have that utility. Alright. And then pass on to them. You may draw. Remain. Okay, this is obnoxious. I'm tapped out now. It's fine. They can do what they'd like. There you are. Hi, Watchdog. Ay, ay, ay. Woo. 
I'm tired. Can you tell? A little bit. Ooh. Good night, Irene. Okay. If they can discard something, find a land, and play the selfless savior, they could basically just have a repeat of the last turn. The difference being, I can thin my deck quite a bit here. Alright, yes. For me, planes out. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Get another planes out. Draw. Alright. That's long domain. And then, hiya. Not you. Not you, bud. You stay back. I mean, I guess I could actually attack with it, but no. A downside to doing that is now Fertilid is the easy non-block, so they'll take 6, go to 6. But we just thinned our deck and we have a lot more lands. It's fine. It works out. Boom. Followed by... Boom. Boom. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see what they have. Put a stop on mine again, and then pass the turn. Dramatic music intensifies. One joy about getting all your lands out, not only can you cast anything in your deck, but you're only going to get live draws from then on. Of course. Yeah, they did it about as well as they could. Enters the battlefield, destroy target, artifact or enchantment, and opponent controls. So, dub. Destroy dub. Aw, oh, how sad. How sad. Alright. Activate it. Hey, there we go. Woo! So we did, we got one. We got one. Alright, cool. Cool. Let's see. Now, I actually did play some games before this, so... Reward? Alright, so this is Black Market. Uh, yes, but by the time you're already at 5 mana, you probably don't need a lot more Black Mana. Uh, I'm sure someone can find a use for it. Is Grizzlebrand in the format? Alright, so there's one. Let's go for it again. I guess that'd be interesting. You could use it as like a, a ramp spell but you've already probably used your mana to kill their creatures anyway to survive long enough to cast Blackmark. It's not a great card, is what I'm saying. It's not a great card. All right, High Spirit Dancer. Yes, I would like to go first. Once again, Spirit Dancer doesn't have anything to work with her, though. All right, so we'll use it for green, because that's obviously going to be the option. All right, cool. Let's see, since we still don't have one, I'll play Horn Beetle first. Let's see. Oh, hi. It's a 1-1 one, one, when it dies, makes a 3-3. Three, three. Cool. What does Blessed Spirits do? When you cast an enchantment spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Cool. I guess we'll do that then. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This thing flies. We can just wait. We can hold our horses. Just wait. Instead of giving them a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, must be blocked if able. Okay, that's kind of cool. Boom. I mean, that's fair. Oh. What was that? A 2-mana 3-3, three, three, kind of. It worked out. Irresistible Prey. I dig it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'll give him the nice. Give him the nice for that. Indomitable Will. Plus 1, plus 2. Okay. Well... I guess we... I guess we get started with this, now that we have one. Alright, here goes. Alright, how dead is it? Is it dead? Maybe? With that many cards in hand, 
they have already used Prey Upon, though. Surely there's another fight. Yep, there it is. There it is. You hate to see it. Okay. Wait. Let's see. In the meantime... Hmm. I guess we will actually play the Scourge a bit early. It's not ideal, for sure. I guess I will attack. hi -ya. We're not double blocking the piggy anyway. No, let's not. Okay. Mauler. Creature died this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it, and untap it. Okay. So I can play Pride Malkin and put a counter on it, which puts a counter on Scourge. Yeah, that's probably the thing to do, I guess. Hmm. Although that's a trade they're willing to make, I'm sure. Oh, wait. I think that it gets better for me if I just wait a little bit longer. Or that can happen. Okay. I mean, there's a there's a trick here, ob I think, obviously. There has to be. Well, we still want to keep one. So we just trade Pride Malkin for a Mauler and let it go through. Hmm. So I, I definitely would like to keep this around. Creature died this turn. Yeah. I'll just do it there. Alright, in before pump spell. Yep, plus one plus one counter on target creature. On each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter. Okay, cool. Yikes. I feel as if I possibly could have played that a bit better. Maybe. Alright, so we'll draw a card. There's a land. Cool. And then we'll wait. It feels like we've just been playing a little bit behind the whole time. The whole time. Alright. Hmm. If I can find a land, I can go Will Hunter's Edge. Be doing it from one though. No, I need to I don't need to kill the boar, I need to kill this thing, actually. Alright, here goes. What do they have? Any pump spell will do it at this point. Ooh. Good game. Hey, there you go. They had the plus one counters deck as well, it seems. Oh man. We can do we can do this. Come on, Jay. Come on. You can do this. You can do better than this. Go at it again. Okay. Just checking the time. Flare 2004. Okay.
Well, uh, once again, I guess this is fine. Hmm. I have maybe a sneaking suspicion, my misplays notwithstanding, that the deck's not doing as well as I had hoped. <laughs> it seemed to make sense on paper. Creatures that care about getting bigger, plus enchantments that hopefully make them bigger, or let them swing through. It seems to be something of a combo. Alright. Uh, on target creature. And this one's going to be the same size anyway. So we'll just go there. 1, 3, and a 2, 2. Walk into a bar. Oh, hi, zombies. Let's see. Ghoul Caller's Apprentice. What do you do again? Exile from your graveyard. Create a 2 2 black zombie. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. I respect that. Let's see. This is uh, an instant. We don't want to use that just yet. Hmm. They probably would be okay with making that trade, though. If I just use Pride Malkin. So for right now, we'll do this. Because this one they don't care about being in the yard, I'm sure, and this one they want in the yard, actively. Which is why they might even block here. Boom. Okay. There we go. That makes it a little easier for later on. It makes it a lot easier for later on. Plus one, plus one for each... What was it? Creature card in your graveyard. The elite. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Okay. So since we don't have any counters yet, go Pride Malkin, now we'll do it. Put it here, then make it attack. You aren't going to double block. No. Not with first strike. Alright, there we go. Again though, they probably actively wanted that in the grave. Cost four mana to use its ability though. It's not for nothing. Alright. This thing's getting scary, though. Ah, uh, yeah, no blocks. We're behind, technically. Alright. Right. Cool. Almost up to that primeval bounty. Um, hmm. There is a temptation to distribute them for armor craft, Judge, which I think is what I should do. So we'll put one on here. And then, now it has trample, so hiya! That also ends up working out for if. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, only when you can use the sorcery. Okay, cool, cool. That works out. I thought I remembered that and then oh, messed up. No, I didn't mess up. It's okay. Oh, jeez. The creature died this turn. Oh, great. Yay, good times. Good times. And they have the mana, so... Oh, no, they're holding it back. I mean, fair enough. Can't attack, but doesn't say anything about blocking. So we're going to do this. See if we can draw a card or twelve. Or two. Just two. Please be, have a land in there somewhere. Hey, there we go. Now remember, Jay, primeval bounty first. Primeval bounty first. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm actually tempted to wait. Yeah, we're, we're going to do this now. Even though it can still block, that is a bit of a concern. Alright. 
and pass it right along. Alright, what does this do? Liliana's steward. Her elite and her steward. Alright, target opponent discards a card. Okay, cool. Cool. It's a one mana delay discard. I like it. And it's a one two. Why is that a one two? Why not a one one? Oy, oy, oy. That's okay, I guess. Aha! Alright, I remembered this time. Cool. Uh, we're still going to wait. Yeah, Primeval Bounty is silly. Unless you misplay it horribly like I did earlier. Oh! From your grave to your hand. Still, it's not bad, I suppose. Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. Little do they know. Oh no, we are not blocking that. They'll just make another zombie out of it. Also, there's a trick. There's totally a trick. Like, I have a 5-5, five five, but there's still a trick. Oh wait, you have first strike. I should have blocked. Uh, we can just go for the win if we leave Invigorating Surge in. Yeah, I should have realized they could just do this anyway. I don't know why I didn't block there. It has first strike for crying out loud. Actually, this still doesn't get it all that big. Okay. Hmm. Oh, invigorate! Aha! Yeah, I, I messed up. If I had done invigorating surge, we'd be in a better shape. Because uh, it would gain three counters from Primeval Bounty and Invigor- Well, no, the- yeah, the Invigorating Surge happens afterwards. So we get the three counters, then it would get the one, then it would double the number of counters, and it has Trample from Pride Malkin. I don't know why I did that then. Uh, do they- do they know? I mean, they might have to anyway because it has Trample. They do have to anyway. Alright, oh, they're just going all in for it. All in on it. Alright, you. You. That's the order we're going to do it in. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. <sighs> you know, you don't have to necessarily be good. Sometimes you can just be lucky. <laughs> I'm having an off day. If the yawning wasn't the dead giveaway, I'm having an off day. Hey! Alright, there we go. I mean, eventually we got there. I kind of would like to keep playing just a little bit longer with this. Because I think once you're... well, actually, let's find out. So one of these is my daily reward. Grave Waker. Okay. Um, I think I remember having this from ages ago, back when Almond Kit cards were in, if I remember correctly. And then Kaisel Freebooter. Okay, so I guess black is the theme of my daily rewards. Um, you know what? I'll give it one more go. Or, I'll tell you what, I'll keep going until I lose. I still have more coins I can get, more daily rewards. So I'll just keep playing until I lose. Give me another shot with the deck. Whoa, such that it is. Paulo Garate Castillo. Cool. That's a cool name. On a scale of Bob, sorry Bob, to Paulo Vito Damodarosa, <laughs> whose name has DDR in it. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Uh, so the only creature here is a 3 drop. What are you? 3 damage to any tar- oh, but 5 mana. Ah, okay. I see what's going on here. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Well, let's see. So we can filter mana for them. That seems neat. A 
And then thankfully they have to sacrifice this thing. Good grief. Uh, so what's going on next? Oh, they have their own. Nice. Would I be willing to trade? Not really. Hmm. I could go Pride Malkin and then next turn dub it. That would slow them down a little bit, maybe. Boom. Okay. I don't know that that was necessarily right. Alright, target creature you control. So many options. So now I have a 3-2 Trample. I was wondering where that blue would, had run off to. Sadly, blocking there to keep their mana down didn't work. Alright, so we found the mirror, kind of. We found half the mirror. It's a broken mirror. Yeah, we're absolutely not blocking here. Face of Divinity. Okay. So right now it's just going to be a 5-4. So in that case... Play this, and... Faith's Fetters would be interesting. They're actually getting pretty close to the point where they can activate Lightning Core Excavator. But... Hmm. Dub gets it out of range anyway. And it has first strikes. As a 5 4 first strike. I, I think it's safe to say we can wait for a little bit. And then it'll have double first strike and lifelink. Which actually could let me go on offense. Enters the battlefield. Return. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. That works. Dig that art. I don't know. Okay. You put a counter on them. So I could go... Get a counter... Well, I could put it on Beetle, actually, because it can gain Trample from Pride Malkin. So I can go Indomitable Will. This isn't a removal deck. So maybe I should just go all in on this one creature. So it's an 8-8 with First Strike and Lifelink. Yeah, we're, we're hitting. They're actually going to... They're able to keep this race tied. They have 8 power as well. Um, but then I have Faith Fetter's Iron Beetle. So we'll see how this plays out. Okay, and that makes sense. That's interesting. Sadly, no Vigilance on mine. Alright. So we can just keep this swing going back and forth. Alright. No blocks, of course. I say that. Oh! I do have Trample, bud. I do indeed have Trample. Maybe it's to preserve their life total a bit? I don't know. Alright, so now we have a blocker. Cool. And then Iron Shell can throw a counter on... doesn't matter. Aha! Okay. Proliferate. Yeah, that makes sense. Hello. They're, they're keeping it close. I appreciate that. They're doing what they can. Oh, oh. Alright. It's no use, Anakin. I have the high ground. Alright. Yeah, now we have we can give it vigilance. It's a wrap. Now it's a wrap. Sorry. Unless I'm missing something here, that should be it. 
Unless I'm missing something. Oh, if I had attacked, they'd be dead. I actually, I didn't see that. I didn't even bother to count, to be honest. Wake up, Jay. Wake up. Okay. And then just play it again. Stonehaven Pilgrim. Can't attack or block? How about you? That should do it. Et voila. That's the order. That's the order we're going with. And then two back at you. Alright, so I did say we'd keep it going. So let's keep it going, I guess. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Ooh, I didn't even check. Oh, yeah, it was just coins, right? Three out of two wins. Math. Yeah. That may be just a quick sec. Let's see. Just a moment. Alright, so they go first. I mean... No. I'll try it, though. Oh, I, I didn't even see Free Mulligan there. <laughs> I'm really on my A-game today. As you can tell. As you can clearly see. I know this looks really professional. Just, just give me a moment. Alright. Whale. <laughs> Trying to get in touch with Evangeline. Get have her on camera. Uh, we'll show off the planes first. Have Evangeline on. So she can say hi to everybody. Uh, but they didn't pick up. It just might not be there. It went to voicemail so quickly, the phone just might be off. It happens. It happens. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Stretch. Okay, can't block. I. Oh, I told you I was tired. All right. So life link. Um. Yeah, that's the only creature I can cast. So. I guess I'll hide a little bit of information from them by doing it this way. So they don't know what the second color, if any, happens to be. Although I wonder, if I knew this well enough, perhaps the lands would give it away. Since I think each land is from a certain pack. Okay, so Thriving Heath, if I don't mind not playing a green card, which I would like to do, very much. Uh, since. I'm not sure what's right here, but I'm actually going to go Pride Malkin, put a counter on Anointed Chorister. So they're in the choir, I guess. They're singing a chorus. I guess. I guess that's what they're going for. And then in before dies to a fairy with flash. But as quickly as that went, aha, they had something with flash. A rogue with flash. My Fitbit's telling me to walk some more. I'm sitting down, I'm recording, bud. Chill. It's okay. We'll get through this together. Well, okay. So that happened, I guess. I guess there's that. Alright. Malefic Scythe. Okay. Whenever an equipped creature dies. Ah. But you can't block. For each... So it does come in with one soul counter, so it's a 2-2. Two -two. I guess that's okay. That's a clock. It does make me a little bit wary about killing it, though, to be honest. Do want to be careful about that. Alright. So that one's pretty obvious. Truffle Snout. 
fertilented ramp, I guess would be interesting. Um... Yeah, for right now, I don't want to take an action that could threaten to kill it. So I'll just swing for two, I guess. Keep us on parity. And this can be used to develop into more lands later on. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Boom. Ah, it's rogues, not fairies. Which opponent mills two, as long as the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard. Okay, cool. So it's a it's another zoo creature, I guess. A one mana three two, three three, two three, whatever they feel like it being. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Not yet, buddy. Boom. Okay, so we're at three. Interesting. To be careful. Because it only counts the ones that are... Oh! Ah, that's more like it. Okay, that's smart. Japan loses two life. The creature died this turn. Okay. And how much is that? Two and tap. That's an instant. But it gains reach. Hmm. This is interesting. I actually do not know. I guess we take the 3-4 Trample, right? That lets us hold up Armament? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, here goes. 3 4 trample for 4 mana. I mean, you pay for the versatility too, but that seems, especially in modern magic, that seems pretty under curve, and that's with setup. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Nice. In that case, I actually might like for it to, to die. That sounds a little morbid. A little bit. Still only three in the yard. Equipping it there. Okay. I have to be careful about this. If I block it and use armament, I'm just going to make the sights buff bigger. So I have to be real careful about how I want to do that. Okay. Yep, there we go. I'll lose two. That hurts. I hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. I mean, I guess the secret is to try to take out the creatures like this. Plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Deals damage. Okay. So that's cool, I guess. Only if a creature died this turn. So I'm, I'm actually tempted to take out the zombie first. Creature you control. Oh, but I don't... Oh, but I... Yeah, I, I would have to put it on one of you. I guess it does make sense to put it on you, but you would gain trample as well. Alright. Bang. Okay. Cool. So we got rid of that. We take those, I guess. And it is one-sided, so I can't use fight to try to get rid of Retriever. It's not ideal to do it that way, but I guess you can. Man, they have so much mana, they can just throw that buff back and forth. It's kind of silly. It's a lot silly, actually. The good news is that if I can force them to put it on a ground creature, 
then if they attack, I'll be able to block with Retriever. Oh, or they're just going, okay, that, that's better. That makes more sense. Huh. Okay. Let's put it on... As much as I would like to get extra lands out, I think it's probably better to put it on the Pride Malkin. Alright, boom. Alright, so buff, gets a counter, throws it on the Thieves, Thieves Guild Enforcer, and then I have to deal with a 3-3. That will soon be slightly bigger than that, ever so slightly. A lot. Corpse Hauler. What do you do? Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. Turn another target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Whale, then. Creature. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Okay. Well, now... Now... I guess I just play both of them out and just say... Please don't kill me. I think that's the that's the name of the game right now. I can't wait forever though. Game four. All right. What would you like to do? If they block, then we'll lose trample on the trusty retriever. Um, but that'll probably be okay. It would put an extra counter out for their creatures that they have left. Both of these, though, they would probably like to sack. Well, maybe not. I mean, what are you even there for, bud? But yeah, generally it has that utility. This one gets to turn back into a flying fairy rogue, so I don't imagine they would be too against that. Now, I need to make sure I put a stop here, so that I can search my library first. Get out some lands. Thin the deck. As you do. Okay, there we go. Makes sense. Now, if I do that, though, I'm going to make the Thieves Guild Enforcer bigger. So I do have to watch out for that. It's, it's going to happen anyway, though. Oh, no, it's not. Apparently. Yeah, we're just going to do it. No, I should wait. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this again. I'm going to wait on the Scourge, actually. I would like to get it huge, because we're about to have to deal with a huge creature here. In just a minute. Alright, so they're letting it through. Good. Good. And they know if they attack, they get rid of one of their sources of damage against me. So, their own card might be holding them back just a little bit. Crypt Lurker. If you do draw a card. Okay, cool. Sure, that gets to resolve. Alright. And how is there not another rogue yet? I'm waiting on it. Shouts to them for getting the on color shenanigans. Okay. Yes, you may attack. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Let's do this now. Alright, it gets to be bigger. It gets to be a 5-4. That's a bit unfortunate. Ooh, Primeval Bounty. Actually, yeah, let's go with that first. We can gain some life back. And we can just swing in the air. I'm just going to do it there, actually. Alright, 
just for now, in turn. Could have played a 1-1 for a 3-3. I think I can wait, though. I think that I can afford to wait. So I'm at a virtual 9 from Stab Wound. If they attack, this blocks. Yeah, okay, we should be in good shape. We should be in okay shape. Dutiful Attendant. You know, this thing about I'm going to keep playing until I lose is what's going to keep me in it. <laughs> of course, like, now I just jinxed it. Except by saying I just jinxed it, I un... How does that work? Is it just dependent on where I stop? But if I'm intentionally stopping? It depends on where I unintentionally stop. That's what determines where the, the jinxing lies, I suppose. The jinx effect. In other words, Whatever the last thing I genuinely want to happen will be, it'll be the opposite of that. Alright, there's two. Alright, gain some life. Yay. And do this now because why not? Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Giant Hydra and a 3-3. Three, three. Should I? I don't. No, that's fine. If I give them any more time, we're in trouble, but. So let's see. Uh oh. What happened? Do they have me? Alright. So I have four creatures. They have four life. One can swing in the air. The other three get blocked on the ground. Um, we actually can't quite kill them this turn, so I'm going to play it safely. I guess I could also swing with the trusty retriever, force them to kill it, which will save a little bit of damage on me. We'll save two. Because they have to block the retriever. They could just block it with the attendant, though, so that actually doesn't make a difference. That was not necessary. Alright. Oh, wake up, wake up. Keep yourself awake. You can do this. Coffee is waiting. Alright. All I have to do... There's my fourth Skull Prophet. That's actually kind of decent. That's I'm using that in Golgari Glass. So, we'll, we'll keep playing a little bit longer. We're here for only a little over an hour so far. Oh. Oh, I feel like Mr. Fantastic. Stoned something. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure, I'll, I'll go first. That sounds good by me. Alright, cool. Get my colors out. Hoorah. Uh, let's see. Play it on. Fertilid next. Go from there. Oh, hi. That's interesting. Yeah. No, let's not put that on my opponent's creature, please. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I love how it gives you the option. I mean, it's fair. There are some instances where you might want to. But how many a player must have made a mistake? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, wait, that's not a creature. Oh, no. Since you can't see the subtype or the type. Oh, okay. Kilmfane shenanigans. Let's go. Let's go. I don't have a particularly great feeling about this one, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I stand by what I said. I, I don't feel particularly great about this, but we'll keep it, we'll keep it going. So I can go Invigorating Surge, Arbor Armament. Let's see what they do here. Try to shock it? Oh, no, no, that's right. I mean, Kiln Fane shenanigans, who knows. Be really careful about blocking that kiln fiend, though. Lightning visionary. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Well, they're tapped out, so at least I know it's safe to try to make this thing as huge as possible. Presumably, no attacks. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that there would be any. 
This seems ridiculous. Let's do it. What do I have to lose? Dignity. That's what I have to lose. Pride. And I could have done Invigorating Surge there. I probably should have done Invigorating Surge there. Uh, forced. I have another planes in hand, it's fine. Ooh, okay. Actually, let's get this out first then. Cool. Ended up working out, I guess. Although this 2-2... I mean, it doesn't do me that much good. Were it a 1-1, one -one, it would have the exact same amount of blocking in all likelihood. Ability to block, I should say. Okay, discard. Oh, jeez. What was that again? Thrill of Possibility, that's right. That's right, I remember you. Oh, yeah, you too. Well, hello. Oh, this is fun. This is a baby Chandra Spitfire. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Wow. How much one mana grants you? Jeez. A much bigger buff. A better ability just as a base. Alright. If we can hold out just a little bit longer, we'll be okay little bit longer. Right. They only have three cards in hand now, so if I can wait one more turn, we can go Face of Divinity, Targeting Scourge, Invigorating Surge, Targeting Scourge. Uh-oh. Two damage to any... T yeah, that makes sense. They might just be dead, though, if they... Yeah, they're just dead if they just swing out here. Oh, but you don't have Trample. I don't have a Pride Malkin. I would need something to give you Trample. So in that case, I'll put Knight on instead, probably. Cast an Enchantment Spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Um, That changes things a little bit. So I can do this to play a Beast. Then I can put Face of Divinity on it. And it'll get a plus one, plus one counter, and then it'll be plus two, plus two, and it'll be huge in the air. Yeah, we'll do that. That's, that's probably right. So we get a beast. That's right. And then face of divinity, targeting you. Uh, put them on here, because that'll also put them on the scourge. Alright. I'm still going to hold it back. Oh, I like the look of this. I like everything about... Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I like everything about this. Almost. Yeah, okay, there we go. Let's see how dead we are. Pillar, Bluff, Mountain. We're not. This is fine. That's perfectly fine. It's a really good Chandra, though. I mean, five mana, but... Other than that, good grief. We're just... I don't like the trend of giving two pluses. I guess it's okay. Neither one of them... I guess I would have had it be like, the middle ability is the plus, the top ability would be like a zero or a minus one. Uh-oh. Well, this is usually not a good sign. Oh, but no, it worked out. We're okay. We got there. We ended up getting there, I guess. Yeah, usually that's not a good sign, but when you know what's in their hand, you know that the Kiln Fiend isn't lethal. Not super lethal. Well, again, I said we played till we lost, so let's keep on going. going. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say Karn. Hi, Karn. I don't even know where to begin, unfortunately. Okay, so it has a creature, it has two creatures, we'll keep it. 
One of the joys of Limited is that it tends to be a fairly slow format, so we have time. Usually. Usually. Alright, wake up. Wake up. Why you put on the makeup? Okay. <laughs> However the rest of that goes. The dulcet tones of the ocean there. It's nice. Ah, chain brood again. Hi you. Alright, pass along. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going one bit. I'll play this out even though it's probably done. It's probably dead. And then they said this was, yeah, blue. Of course, of course it is. There's an island next to the mountain. Alright, well, we can hope, we can try. Ideally... Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, fortunately this thing only deals with players or planeswalkers, so they can't... I think they can't deal the second damage to spirits this turn. I think. Unless I'm missing something. Alright. They can, however, sack it to untap to attack with both of these. That's not good. At all. Not at all. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, as soon as we can get this Face of Divinity out, we'll be okay. But until then, we're just kind of hoping we get there. I'm going to say no. Just going out on a limb there and saying no. Alright, can we live it? Can we live? long enough. Hunter's Edge. So theoretically, let's see, I could put... Ed, no, that's that, that would be wrong. That would be wrong. I could try to go Edge, kill one of their creatures. Almost certainly it's better though to give it first strike and make it a 5-5. Five -five. And it can just block the brute. No vigilance though, so we have to wait. Until we can get that divinity out, we have to wait. And even then, it's an 8-8. Eight eight. Lifelink. But still, I mean, I guess there's that. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, that could, could have been worse. Face of Divinity or Hunter's Edge? Ah. Uh, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Alright. Wait, wasn't it one mana? Oh, only, only during your turn. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. This is my background. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> well, at least I only have to deal with that. But oh, wait a minute! Now we have face of divinity. We can put on it. We didn't die that turn. Amazingly, somehow, we did not die. <gasps> We're still going, folks. I'm still going. Oh, this is so stupid. I was dissing the decks, so and now it's trying to show me how good it is. Silver Smoke Ghoul, okay. I've seen that played a good bit in Historic. Alright, so we're four wins in a row since I said we'll stop after we lose. <laughs> because that's how this goes. Uh, you go first. Uh, sure. We can get there. We have Fertilite and we can ramp into Primeval Bounty. So let's do it, I guess. Right, there we go. Give him the hello. Say hi. See what's going on. Okay. 
interesting message. Sorry, I'll maybe tell you guys. It's it's nothing. It's just YouTube automatic copyright. That's all. Copyright claim. It happens. Okay. It's my turn. Cool. Well, the good news is this isn't a deck that puts a lot of pressure on me. The joy of a defender's deck. Can't be blocked this turn. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. I've read attacks, draw a card. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll pass. I would think that surely they would... So if they attack and I block, then I'll only be able to use Fertile once this turn. Which is probably okay, because I have another land in hand. If I use Fertile once, though, it dies. It's not ideal. Alright, let's see if they attack. Totally attacking. No! Okay, cool. Well, in that case... go. Primeval Bounty. Play a land. Okay, and we should be in business. This one card represents about a billion cards by the time it's done. Or at least that's the, that's the idea, that's the hope. If you would oh. Oh. Ageless Insight. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we will first put this into play, game three. Then we'll play a Truffle Snout, which creates a beast, which gets a counter, or that gets a counter, rather. I don't know that I necessarily want to play that out just yet, to be honest. I'm, I might would like to wait. I have enough mana I can afford to wait a little bit. Yeah, we'll pass. Pass along. If they attack with this thing, with flying, we'll just block it with armor armament. Arbor. Arbor armament. What? Onerophage? I don't even know how to say that. Oh dear. That is the most Lovecraftian thing. Okay, that's going to be fun to deal with. Because again, they're about to draw a card, which means they'll draw two cards, which means this thing gets two counters. Yeah. That's fun. That's that's going to be a lot of fun to deal with. Totally blocking there. They're tapped out. They don't have anything. At all. Hopefully. Maybe. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Alright. Ooh, high scourge. Cheese. Cheese. Holy crap. Okay, so this comes in for seven? Yes. Just pay it all. There we go. And then no attacks. We'll just hold back a bit. We can afford to do that. I say that. That thing is getting a little bit scary, to be honest. Next turn, we can go on the offense, go on the offensive. And while this does let them... Oh, there we go. Oh, curiosity, okay. Does it... Fl it does fly. Ooh. If I weren't tapped out, that's okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh-oh. Well then... I guess Trouble Snout gets to get them. Gets to get them. Alright, so I did say I have 8 mana altogether. That means I can go Will, which puts counters out, Armor Craft Judge, and still have enough for Arbor Armament. So put Will out here. Just throw a bunch of counters into it, doesn't even matter. Makes a beast. 
What a beast. Oh, there you are. At long last, there you are. Alright, makes another one. It'd be a little bit suspicious if I just went in right now. I definitely have to wait here, don't I? Hide the armament. Although I am taking a bit of a risk here. Uh, whenever a creature with flying attack. Yeah, okay. Okay then. So I'm just going to be able to block it. Actually, I'm not even going to be able to block this thing. I mean, I can, but I'd lose the creature. No, it won't. It's okay. They're tapped out. It's alright. It works out. Okay. Block ya. Boom. Alright. I'm gonna be that guy and give him the good game. Alright. Now I'm gonna put the counters out. Uh, for each aura attached to it. That's probably where I should have sent them, to be honest. Well, a little jaw card at least. Ah. Uh, yeah, I probably should have put them on the Spirit Dancer. It's okay. It's alright. It works out, I guess. Maybe. Not really. Well, I goofed. Small goof, but still. We're still going, folks. We're still going. Yeah, since it didn't have trample, yeah, that was that was wrong. Should have put it on the spirit dancer. It would have been nice to have. Alright, well just keep the ball rolling. Can't stop, won't stop. Checking my messages. Cool. Alright. Still on it. Let's see, almost an hour and a half in. All I have to do is just say, no, you know what, I'm, I'm going to totally win this next one, and then I'll lose. So, uh, looking at this hand, sure, I'm totally going to win this next one, now I'll lose. If I hadn't said the now I'll lose part, never mind, I just need to not think about it too much. Alright, cool. Give him that. Yeah, we're not playing Scourge on Zero. Let's not. Say we didn't. Alright. Hide what I have. Pass. Just let them think I'm mono green for as long as possible. Maybe. Hopefully. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. And which one is this? Which deck does that basic represent? I know what that one does. Uh, I'm actually still going to wait. They're not putting any pressure on me, and I did go first, so I, I would like to wait a bit. Aha! Lightning Phoenix. Alright, so, flying haste, can't block, at the beginning of your end step if an opponent is dealt three or more debt, blah blah blah. Okay, cool. So now it can't attack either. And then we'll pass. Already can't block, it can't attack. Neat. And it can't go from the graveyard to the battlefield, because guess where it is? So hopefully that'll just sit there as a dead card for a while. That's the hope, anyway. That's the plan. Now, we can actually use Force Worship with Core Spirit Dancer to loot card draw. Because we can return a hand, cast it, draw a card with Spirit Dancer, return a hand, cast it, da 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 You just do that every turn. That's always fun. Trust me. Alright, now what do you do? Instant Sorcery deals one damage to a creature and opponent controls. Oh, cool, it's lightning the deck. I... okay. I, that seemed premature, but I didn't have a look at their hands, so... I don't know. We're still going, so... Even though I think I've already reached my 15 wins for the day... Another Heraldic Banner. Okay, so that's number 5, so I guess that's just Vault Progress. Um, yeah, let's just do it again. Six in a row. 
<laughs> Let's just keep it going. Ah, oh, well. It's too bad no one's going to see this because everyone jumped out when I, I made a bunch of sleeping displays back in the, the beginning games. Okay, opponent goes first. Cool. I'm alright with that. That said, though, what's night? So, okay. As long as we can find another land, which, we're, you know, they go first, so we'll get to draw that extra card. I think we'll be okay. As long as we can draw that extra card. Or as long as we can find that extra land. If we do, we're solid. We have our colors. We have Fertilid to ramp us, even into a 3-7 Vigilance, which is not a great card, but okay. Not a great card at all. We'll, we'll take it. You know, it's kind of a shame that, with the exception of Spirit Dancer, I'm seeing all these cards... With the exception of Spirit Dancer, I'm not going to be playing basically any of them. Maybe I'll find a place for Face of Divinity. Maybe. Like, Historic Enchantments. Cool. So we found that extra land. Hello. Uh, tempered veteran. Okay. Interesting. That seems strong. Right on time, Corister. Right on time. Okay. Well. And because of the march of power creep, this one mana one one is well below curve. There aren't even that many 1-mana one 1-1s one left. I mean, in standard, I mean to say. They don't print that many more. Sure. Sure. Easy, easy enough. So they hit me for one, I'll hit them for one back, and gain one. Makes sense to me. They could kill it. Whatever, though. Whatever. <coughs> Put a stop here, just in case. Volley Veteran. Creature and opponent controls equal number of goblins you can... You better... Oh, number of goblins, that's right. Goblins. Okay. Uh do it now. Why am I doing this now? Cause deck thinning, but it's okay. It'll be fine. Though watch that have been the one that I would have that's yeah, okay. I'll live, it's fine. Alright, here goes. I do have to be careful because I don't have any other creatures, so I'm taking a decent risk by doing this. If that's what I'm doing. Enters the battlefield, deals two damage to target creature. Well, no it no you don't. Oh no you don't. Ta-da! Hit me now. Kakate koi. Come at me, bro. They can swing with a veteran. I will gladly take that. Alright. Now, oh, I thought I put a... I did put a stop. Okay. Sh oh, because I... I don't know. That was weird. Did I put it in too late, maybe? So I can make it where they can't use this. Not that I think I care about it too much, though, to be honest. The sorcery. Um, can't actually cast that yet. A little bit worried about this. It's okay. They have to spend so much to use it. I think it's probably all right. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. That's not true. Why does it even ask me? Choose a creature you control out of the one creature. Ah, uh, whatever. You know what? Sure. Hiya. Boom. 
Yay, we're in the lead. I'm just never gonna lose at this rate, am I? Or did I just jinx it there? Create two goblins. Okay, well I don't have trample, so that's a problem. I don't have trample yet. Alright. Let's activate this a few times. Go get a planes. There we are. Activate. Target me. Resolve. Hello? Recording. Oh, thank you. Alright. She is sweet. She is very sweet. I just said you were sweet. You oh, can... I couldn't hear you. I, I literally heard I'm nothing. Re I'm recording. Oh, sorry about Oh, wait. Jody. <laughs> That's my sister. Alright. She's a sweetheart. Now I actually do have to worry about this makeshift munitions, because if I play Blessed Spirits and then try to do anything, play any enchantment on it, I have to worry about it getting shot down. Osri's Acolyte. Uh-oh. Now Tempered Veteran does something. So I could try to play Faith's Fetters, Blessed Spirits, and that would save it. There we go. Although Faith's Fetters makes more sense on the Veteran now, now that it can actually be online. Alright, cool. Gain four life. Can't attack or block or do anything. <laughs> that's that's how it works. That's that's the very technical reading of the of the card. Can't attack or block or do anything. Um It's just going to get shot down. I'll try it. I'll try it out. They don't have a creature engine right now. So we'll, we'll put the stop on my upkeep, just in case. Though at this point, that is my biggest creature. I do have a 3-7 Vigilance in hand, though, so it won't be the case for long. Okay. So, oh, it's... I see what's happening here. I see what's happening. If I block, they can shoot it. I think I see what's going on here. Okay. It looks like a trick, but I will fall for it. Knowing what's going to happen, I'll still fall for it. I think at this point that's fine. No, that's not it. First strike. Okay. Interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. Give him the nice for that. That was good. That was really good. I appreciate that. Well, now I guess I can get rid of that. Ornery Goblin? Okay. Do I have quite enough? No, I don't. Ah, that's lame. Oh well. So I have my 3 7 vig Vigilance creature. But that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. It's okay. We'll see what I draw going forward. Hopefully this can stall me for stall the game for a turn. At least that's the plan. I'm very grateful that this thing is no longer in action. Um it doesn't do much, but I need to wait. Just in case. Man, I can't even block the Ornery Goblin with it. I mean, I can, but it'll just trade. 
And even then, actually, it won't, because they can sack a creature, can sack a token into Aha! This is what we thought would happen. Okay, so, lifelink. Though I'm not too worried about the lifelink, actually. I'm going to block it here. Block you. Here. I think. See, if I let this through... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Puts me to 7. I don't have a source of lifelink yet. Puts me to 7. Plus, I'm at a virtual 2 if I do that. I don't have a source of lifelink. So I guess I could get, like, uh, another enchantment off the top. Would stall the game a little bit. But otherwise... Actually, even then... No, no this is fine. This is fine. Alright, deals one damage there. Are you going to use munition, munitions? Four da- ah, Clever. Clever. I like that. Alright, well now we lose all of our creatures. So what would get us out of this? Uh, Beetle, Face of Divinity... I do have a two mana enchantment, actually, in this deck. And that would give, let me have a creature with lifelink, but that still wouldn't actually save me. Um, not at this point, it wouldn't, unfortunately. Boom. I'm in nine. Okay. Well, thankfully one creature down. And conveniently, they have exactly nine. Ah, well. Well, now. So I can do this. Pilgrim. Face of Divinity on Pilgrim. Alright, and then I'll get a I'll have a 3-3 three, three here and a 4-4 four, four here. I still think we lose though. I'm pretty sure we actually still lose. 3-3 three, three blocks here, 4-4 four, four blocks here. 1-2 gets through. Ah, instigate. Yep. So let's see, one, two, three, to sack three in. So I'm at virtual six. They attack with everything that they can attack with. Yeah, we, we just lose, don't we? Right, I can make them pick, and geez, that's, that's such a tough decision. But at least we're trading kind... It's actually a two for one, so it's not great. Um, if I do nothing, I'm dead. So we'll take it. It's unfortunate, but we'll take it. Oh, what, what now? What now? Snipe. Snipe the horn beetle. Spin three mana to sack three creatures to snipe the horn beetle. Do it. No? Okay. I don't know if they did. They surely saw it. Ah. Uh, ha. 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 Okay. Whale. We're not out of the woods yet. Alright, sack the veteran. Please. Why are you not sacking the veteran? Well, I don't actually... Well, they might have enchantment removal. It is a white deck, too, so they might have enchantment removal in there. Micaeus. Okay, that's, that's solid. That's pretty cool. I dig that. You are entirely too late, Jick. You are way too late. Uh, even if we wanted to get fancy, they could snipe it. What does this... Oh, top six could all go... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Joseph Jostar. Oh, no! All right, well, we can try to do something a little cute. Force Worship, targeting you. Take action, draw a card. All right, I'm going to be really cute with this. Activate, return it to hand. Force Worship, draw a card. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why did I even bother? Now, to be fair, that if you, if you were in a situation where you could theoretically live, that would be the one to do it to. Yeah, no, don't. It doesn't matter. You win anyway. But maybe don't attack with that. All right. So you have menace. So we're dead anyway. But we'll pretend this is a thing. We'll pretend, just for the sake of doing it, I guess. Going through the motions here. All right. And give him the good game for the 45th time. Wait for it. Boom, 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 boom. Minus eight. All right. Well, it took long enough, but we, we lost again. We, we lost another one. All right. So, uh, <laughs> what can you do? All right. That's, uh, that's going to do it for now. That's it. Uh, on oh, nearly two hours in, and we, we we got six in a row, though, with a deck that I wasn't entirely sure was going to do all that well. All right, so, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll, let's see, resign any time if you wish to rejoin and pick new packs. Okay, well, I guess that's it. And there we go. That's it. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.